The home on Oahu's North Shore that slid onto the beach this week is still on the beach. Jen Boniza tells us the homeowner is working against Mother Nature to get it removed before the next swell. As you can see by the high water mark, the waves are already washing up dangerously close to the burrito protecting the house. Crews have been working round the clock to try to salvage it before the swell peaks. It's been four days since this oceanfront home came crashing down. This year was just uh, too many big west northwest swells back to back. So we never got the north swell or northeast swell pushing the sand back. It was too much, four or five days of that. Hugo Villalobos was in the front house at the time, but heard it fall. Around 1.30, I heard crack, crack, boom, and I jumped up. My heart sunk, ran over here, and I seen the house in the ocean. The house, built in the 1940s, has been in the Guerrero Ohana for five generations. Hugo says they were traumatized seeing it like that. A spokesperson from the Department of Land and Natural Resources says the homeowner is responsible for salvaging the house on their own. The day it fell down, I got a call from the neighbors and a few friends that know me around. And first thing, I came out here in the morning and started working. His plan is to stabilize the house, level it, and then push it back up onto the safe zone, butted right up against the front house. He says there's just enough space. Once we get the house up, that's, that's the safe zone. Uh, from now to that point, anything can happen. As long as it doesn't end up in the ocean, that's our biggest concern. It's not an easy task. They're working against the elements and against the clock because another swell is on the way. According to the National Weather Service, a 10 to 15 foot northwest swell will start rolling in Thursday, peaking early Friday. The burrito is there for protection, but it can only do so much. We do have some waves and some swells coming in. So we are working against that and trying to get this house up, hopefully by tonight. And by tomorrow, we'll have her on the property and cross our fingers. Hopefully, we beat the, beat the swells. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.